Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's official study manual 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. You must have this book always in front of you when you're working with me. Today we'll solve some problems that deal with graphs. Problems beginning with page number 183. Please turn to it. Page 183. There are five problems dealing with graphs. We're going to go through all of them one by one. Let's take a, let's take a look at number one first. Number one says, in number one we are given a graph that looks something like this. It doesn't have to be accurate as long as we get some idea. It looks something like this. If you were to, if you were to see the graph, if you were to join, that's that's what we are given to here. If you were to join the, as I said, it does not need to be accurate. We just have to be able to answer the question, and for that purposes, it's good enough. Answer choice A says that the cost of repairs, cost of repairs, increase each year. So this is the cost of repairs and these are the years obviously. If the cost of repairs had increased every year it would have been a straight line going up all the way. That's not the case here as you can see whatever this year was the cost of repair was very high the following year it went down. The cost of repair does not go up every year. B. B says that for the first three years first three years it costs four hundred dollars repairs cost four hundred dollars repair cost four hundred dollars well let's see and for that we have to look at the figures so this 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 amount is same as that amount and if you look at the graph that's two hundred dollars well there you go, we can stop right here. Because the first year it cost two hundred dollars in in repairs, second year it cost two hundred dollars in repairs. We already spent four hundred dollars. First three years the repairs did not cost four hundred. First two years the repairs cost four hundred. And third year, if you look at the graph carefully, that's another four hundred. That's another four hundred. So that is not true. First three years repair cost eight hundred dollars, not four hundred. That statement is wrong. Answer is not B. Answer C says that the average rate of change, average rate of change between year one to year four is equal to, and they show you what it is, 800 minus 200 over four, four years. Can you figure out what's wrong with this thing, what they're presenting here? This is what is given to us. I'm going to change the marker because this marker is annoying me. It's not writing very well. What's wrong with this picture? Well, let's see. From year one to year four, the average rate of change. The average rate of change. Well, this is year one, year one to year four. So year four we have to figure out. So this is year one, year two, year three, and that is in that is indeed that is indeed 800. So year four, that is indeed 800. So that part is correct. Year four with 800, year one is 200. What is wrong here is that just like we are subtracting here 800 minus 200 from year one to year four, from year one to year four, from year one to year two, that's one one year, two to year two to year three, the second year, year three to year four, that's three years. Technically, what they should have shown, instead of four years, what they should have shown here is four minus one year. Just like here, we do 800 minus 200. Similarly, on the, on the x-axis, we have four and a one. It should be four minus one, three years. Because from year one to year four, it's not a period of four years, it's a period of three years. 
they do not show this thing, they just say 4 years. Instead of saying 4 minus 1, they just say 4 years, which is why C is wrong. However, in answer choice D, so C is wrong. Let's move on to answer choice D. In answer choice D, they do show us the correct part. They say that it is 3 years, which is correct. It is 3 years because it is 4 minus 1, which of course is 3 years. And this is what they show in answer choice D, which is, answer, which is why answer choice D is correct, and which is exactly why C was wrong, because in the C, the denominator was 4, it should have been 3. It should have been 4 minus 1, which is 3. So that's problem number one. Boy, this is taking too long. That's problem number one. I don't know how long I might not do all five of them. This, this is this is a saga. Number two. In number two, it says which statement is true. Which is true. Which of the following five statements is true? And again, what they give us is something like this. I'm going to produce here as best as I can. So we have something like this, and we need. We need all of them in order for us to be able to answer the question. The fact that I'm putting this thing on the blackboard, that actually is, a, is learning in itself, it should show you then in the exam, you don't have to read the pra uh, graphs very precisely. You just have to be able to get the gist of it. What is it that it's uh, trying to portray? Which is what I'm going to show you here. I'm going to tell you in a second what they're asking for. Or better yet, I shouldn't have to tell you what they're asking for because hopefully the book is in front of you. something to this effect. So here we have squash, here we have zucchini, here we have carrots, uh, here we have corn, here we have carrots, here we have lettuce, and here we have tomatoes. And here we have the quantity, the pound, pound sold, how many pounds we sold. We can begin our story. That's all we need. Let's begin our story. A says, A says that the most Zucchini was sold, was sold on day three. All we have to go do is look at zucchini, only the zucchini part, right here is zucchini. And they use and the three lines that they're showing there for each of the crop, each of the crop produce, three lines that show us are the three days, day one, day two, day three. This is the zucchini. Do you see that the most zucchini was sold on day number three? That's a, that's a turn nonsense. The most zucchini was sold on day number one. That answer choice is wrong. It doesn't matter what the numbers are here. We don't have to worry about it. Because they're not asking for the precise number. All they're asking us that, is it true that we sold the most zucchini on day number three? The answer is no, that is not true. That statement is false. It is blatantly false. We sold the most zucchini on day one. This is clearly see from the graph. Number Number B, answer choice B. It says, uh, number of pound, number of pound of corn sold increased, INC increased each day. Now, if that statement is true, if that statement is true, then when we go to, when we go to corn, the three lines, they should increase one after the other. Corn, right here is corn. Oh, it is true. Here is corn, here is corn, here is corn. Oh, there you go. It's increasing every year. Not every year, rather. Every day, every day we sold more corns than we did the day before. There were only three days. So, day number three we sold the most corn. Day number two we sold more than what we sold on day number one. You get the idea. It is true. It is true. The answer is B. Answer is B. We know that because obviously we're not likely to have two right answers. When you end up with two right answers in the exam, that's not an indication of the fact that we are very bright, we are so bright that they ask for one, I give you two. No, that's not a good sign. Number C. 
C, again, so if C and D is just for learning purposes, we already know how the B works. C says that 10 pound, 10 pound of squash was sold in three days. That's just silly. This is just absolutely silly. Here's squash, and we see that very first day, very first day, very first day, the graph shows us that we sold 30 pounds of squash. The next day we sold something more than 30. The following day we sold 30 more than that. Over the over the course of three, over the course of three three days, we don't know exactly how many pounds were, how many pounds of uh, squash was sold, but we we can safely say that we sold over 90 pounds, over 90 pounds, because each year we sold 30 or more. First year we first day we sold 30 pounds. The next day the graph shows us. That we sold something more than 30 pounds, the day after we sold even more than that. So to say that we sold only 10 pounds over a period of three days is just utter nonsense. It's rubbish. Answer choice D says, so C is wrong. D says that the most corn was sold in day three. On day three, if you like. Let's see corn, where is corn? Right here. Most corn, let me see. Most corn was sold on day three. No, that's that's not true. Right here is corn. Oh, most carrots, sorry, that would have been true. This this is not corn, it says it says most carrots were sold. This is this is not this this is true. Most corn was sold in day three. As you can see, there is corn. We sold the most corn on day three, which is what this was. The number of pounds of carrots sold increased each year. It increases every year. If it increases every day, then obviously on the third day we sold the most thing. I, I miswrote it. It's not corn. I meant to say carrots. Answer choice D says, which is why it's important that you have the book, book in front of you. It says most carrots were sold on day three, so we have to go to carrots. That's not true. We did not sell the most carrots on day three. We sold the most, most carrots on day one. That is wrong. The answer is B. The answer is B. Let's go to number three. I'm debating whether or not we should go to number three right now. Tell you what, we'll do three, four, and five. We'll do three, four, and five tomorrow separately. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can reach me by sending me an email. Just go to kishwaniprep.com, send me an email, and we'll talk some more. In the meantime, if you want to get some more extra practice, there are 80 more videos on my channel dealing with these five, the older version of these. But as I always tell you, math is math, math does not change. There are 80 videos, just type in T's 5 day 1 and watch the entire series of 80 videos and you'll get a lot more out of, it that, out of that as well. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.